All right, we're here to check out the and interrogate some of the uh, people who were at the spa. So let's oh, let's check out their stuff first. Has anyone got a ring? Perkins belongings. Let's see. Let's stop moving around. There we go. All right, let's check this out. Oh, we got a crest. An Examine embroidered that. silk handkerchief. Nothing exciting there. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. Alright, nothing too exciting there. Oh boy, just... Oh, very touchy. That ring. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. Not very fancy. Been resized. I see the join. This ring was repaired and quite badly too with silver. What do we got here? An Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. So we just take it. A hand drawn map. An old and rather dirty coin. Oh, he pockets a lot of stuff. Look at that. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. The last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. We're going to do that to little with, saving trick. A few trick. strokes of the pencil will be enough. I don't want to damage the traces. And then to gently smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. Of course not. Today I almost found it. What the rest of it say? I guess we're gonna find out. Mr. Holmes, the coroner. Had but what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence. I prefer to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. Well... The right, has, uh, the right eyeball has been... had been... burst, pierced to... the hilt by a curved blade knife. The blade cut through the orbit of the frontal bone, ripping part the... part of the frontal lobe. And the corpse, whatever that word is, columns, 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 don't know. After which completed its trajectory in the cerebellum, causing hemorrhaging less than all of the injuries. Led directly to the death of the individual. All, all the upper lobe to the right lung. There had been an old injury filled with an um, amount of mucus and clinic. Debris. I don't know what that word is. C I don't know. 
that must correspond to a chronological infection by elements likely inhaled in the burial chamber, a decayed mummy, for example, or, or a dried and decomposing food product in, intended to give, intended to accompany the deceased in their grave. The remainder of the body does not appear to be damaged. Got the last notes. Okay, what else do we have here? Need to talk, dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. What else we got here? Right. Haven't finished looking at the stuff yet. Dear sir, the in the interests that represent that I represent require the situation in the at the bath to be changed for the better. At the present time, the Frigginham excavation remains under your direction, and yet the work has not progressed. You have failed to find anything of value, we, and we are unable to make the Frigidarium accessible to the public. The Frigidarium is a valuable asset in the recreation of the Roman bath experience. I urge you to complete your work within the next two months. You have this remaining time to conclude your archaeology archaeology Archaeologic geology research and to find another workplace. Somebody has a gun. pencil. Oh, the last one. When Garrow found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. A file with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's wort flower, Holmes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. Interesting. Hallucinations. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, questions, questions, questions. Lots of questions. What should we do? Oh boy, all he ever does ask is what do we do next? What's in this room? Oh, let's see. Oh, one more. Oh, let's go to the autopsy. Check the evidence before at talking to people. An unusual wound. Inflicted by a curved knife, which resulted in instant death, as the coroner's report says. According to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems nor lung congestion, but there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. Where were the Egyptian tombs at? The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease, if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker and 63 years of age. Nothing else? Oh! Oh, what is all this? The bruising is in lines. Some light bruising caused by a rope. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir Rodney was descending somewhere. A little creepy there. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. One of these days he's gonna have an opinion. You know, just maybe. I don't know. Oh boy. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. I don't get to pick who? They just tell me who I'm gonna get? Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Uh, not at all, Mr. Holmes. Uh, my name is Percival Blinkhorn. Of course it is. We already know this. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Focus, look, attentive. See it keep going. Okay, 
So this has been doing some work. Oh, it's gonna go back over that. I'm missing something. Come on, where is it? Not wealthy. Come on. What am I looking for? Yes, we got all that about him not being wealthy. There we go. Recent earthwork. What is your occupation? I'm an archaeologist, specializing in the Roman period. I'm working on several excavation sites at present, including the baths at Strand Lane. Hmm. Can you tell me more about the baths? Well, we're hoping to retrieve a great many interesting artifacts from the site and to list any items of value before their eventual restoration and exhibition. And has it been successful? It has, thanks to Sir Rodney. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney? Well, I couldn't say that he was a kind man, no. Uh, but he was talented. I felt a great admiration for him, I, I must say. Was it your first collaboration? I had met Sir Rodney briefly once in Egypt, and I'd shared my researches with him. Surprisingly, my work did convince him to come here. He arrived only a couple of months ago. Surprisingly? Well, Sir Rodney is, uh, was, God, a cold man, and so very secretive, too. But I learned so much from him. I can't believe that he's dead. Oh, what'd you see? Can you tell me what you saw today? Well, we entered the steam room, and we all went to sit down. Uh, the steam was particularly dense, and I didn't see anything much further after that. I just heard Mr. Garrow shouting, but we all ran for the door and bumped into each other. I was very alarmed by this point. What did you do? Well, the door was stuck, and with all the steam, it, it was quite frightening. I was barely able to see my own feet. Garrow was covered in blood. Do you believe that Garrow killed Sir Rodney? Oh, no. Garrow couldn't harm a fly. Um, I'll keep going with unusual. Can you recall any recent event that would occur to you now as being a little strange? Well, yesterday we had a small argument. Is that all? No. Sir Rodney informed me that he was to attend the London Archaeological Congress with me. Then he advised me of quite the opposite. And rather aggressively, too. Hmm. Let's keep going down the work line. How well were your researchers progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather well. This letter reveals that Sir Gregory was prepared to put a stop to your work. Uh, yes. But... Since Sir Rodney's arrival, he had calmed down. He allowed us to work. Uh, I'm not sure what they agreed on. Hmm. What will happen now that Sir Rodney is dead? Well, I haven't thought about that. Uh, but if it's needed, I will fight to defend Sir Rodney's expectations. Hmm. Interesting. What's the champagne for? Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? No, I did not. Um, melted silver. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? No. Silver, you say? No, I don't know how it got there. Um, so that's about the ring. Do you recognize this ring? Uh, certainly. It's the famous Aswan ring. Sir Rodney brought it back from his last campaign in Egypt. 
And he kept it for himself. Sir Rodney has uh, had his own particular ideas of archaeology. Interesting. What can you tell me about Garrow? Well, he always looks so sad. And uh, he has been acting strangely lately. He complains about voices and visions. I will keep an eye on him because I'm worried. Alrighty, who's next? Talk to Mr. Pinkerton. Not your Garrows. Pitkins, that's it. Mr. Pitkins. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, Sir Gregory. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? What a prick. Already starts out just nasty. Yes, definitely disdain. Aristocratic roots. Yeah, he's a man of means. All right, so what did I miss? What did I miss in the disdain run? There we go. You are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Yes. I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open the baths to the public. Living archaeology can be a profitable business, although now I'm not so sure. I see. When do you wish to begin using the baths? When the archaeological researches are over, I will be free to complete the restoration. It is the usual process. What was your relationship with Sir Rodney Bentcliffe? We were not particularly close. He had an unpleasant temperament. Suspicious, authoritarian, unkind. People possessed by genius may be forgiven for their nature, but not by me. Was he obstructive? Not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. He helped us increase the potential of the building. Let's keep going with your work. How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say. Ooh, I like the chilled pancake. Champagne, but let's let's check the letter. Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed the wish to call off the research work at the baths. It was all about Blinkhorn. He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind? Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, and it was good for the baths publicity. So yes. I changed my mind. Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. Then, of course, that awful murder. What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask Garrow. He saw the body first. Um, yeah, let's ask about unusual events. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Look. I'm not a suspicious fellow, but I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. Why should you think that? Where? I have no idea. But after all, it was not my business. Um, go with the melted silver. Some melted silver was found inside the steam room brazier. Do you know where it came from? Silver? No. It's two that don't know about the silver. What about the champagne? Did you bring a bottle of champagne to the baths? Absolutely not. Sir Rodney did, I think. Are you aware that Mr. Garrow is under a form of medication? Garrow? No. But I never liked that parasite. Do you believe him to be capable of murder? Well, he did have blood on him. Does that make him a murderer? Yeah, he's short-sighted. 
Oh wait, we had a yellow. Let's take a look at what we got here. Nope. All right, let's see. Uh... Uh, no one has anything for inside. Effective arrival, stolen notes, nope. Effective arrival champagne? No. Very liquid, strange. Alright, well that's something. The presence of water was due to humidity the atmosphere the speed of the steam. Pressure of blood and water. Unexplained clue it must somehow be linked to the murder process. Well, I'm gonna go with the steam because that was my first thought. And that doesn't mean it's right. But it was my first thought. Let's see. Right, I'm gonna see if any of the others. Uh, stolen notes. No, 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 no. Strange wound. Strange wound of champagne? No. Oh, the champagne was unopened, so no, it wasn't. Uh, strange rune inside the bazaar? Alright, got nothing else that I can see that links up. I'm probably wrong, but. Right now, I don't see it. Let's Please see what Mr. Garrow Please this suspect for interrogation. A good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Ah, uh, 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 I am Tristram Garrow. Let's take a look at him first. Not well shaven. Hmm. Alright, let's move around. Why are we moving up on his head? Perspiration. Well, he just came from a steam room, maybe. Scar on his head. Dirty clues. Protective amulet. Superstitious. Oh, I miss miss something after per between perspiration. What is your occupation? I, I am a councillor at the uh, district chamber. And what were you doing at the baths? Well, I, I follow the researches. I am uh, I interested in, in archaeology. You follow them? Yes. So many things happened and w we need to know. Or perhaps it's better hidden. I beg your pardon, Mr. Garrow. I, uh, I, I meant nothing by, by that. I, I apologize. There's something wrong with this guy. Let's see what it goes. What was it goes. like to work with Sir Rodney? It was like uh, working w with a genius. It, he was a hard man. Uh, but then, you, you know, this world is hard. There are always people who want to steal from you. And he, uh, he, he trusted me, but, uh, oh. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, I'm sorry. He is I. Oh, I remember. Oh, I, I feel so sorry. Do you need anything? I, uh... I, I, I feel bad. I, uh, I, I hear... No, nothing. I, 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 I'm better now. What's up with this guy? Please try to recall what you saw today. The room was so... so hot, I, I had to remove my glasses. I was not feeling so very well in, in there. But you found the body. I saw the knife, you know. Flying through the air, I, I, I saw the blood. I tried to escape, I, I don't remember. Saw the knife. What did it look like? Everything was as if in a nightmare. It all happened so fast. The knife was shining like, like gold. Shining like 
shining like gold. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Well, he, he had been rather secretive these past few days. Last Thursday, for, for example, I, I saw him leave. When he returned, it, it was very late. He showed me some wet coins, Roman coins, and uh, he started to laugh. This is the coin that, that he showed me. It is from the third century. It must be very rare. No, I, 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 I don't know. Interesting. Um, let's ask about the melted silver. We discovered some melted silver in the brazier. Did you put it there? It didn't help. The power is too strong. The power is too strong. It didn't help. So, what does that mean? His ring. Oh, it should be destroyed. Why do you say that? It is a cursed ring. Digging dark secrets. Really? I... Uh, it is after me now. I know it. Uh, I shouldn't have worked on it in the workshop. It's too late now. Okay, so he's the man tied to the silver. I'm guessing he put the silver in the brazen and he... Well, he just said he repaired the ring. Uh, let's ask about the champagne. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? What? No. I don't know anything about that. Thank you. Thank you. This will help me to calm down. Do be careful with the dosage. I, I will. I mean it. Garrow appears to be rather mentally disturbed. Either that or he is a good actor. Um, wait a minute. What do we have here? Uh, okay, broken glasses inside the bazaar. What do we get? Alright, I'm going to leave that alone. Let's look at the rest of the clues. I didn't think it was the lie. Nope. 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 Okay. Oh, just... Why not? So Rodney's lie... Effective arrival... Oh, nope. It doesn't go with the note. So Rodney's lie... Stolen note? What do we get there? Why would Sir Rodney be hiding anything? Could his discovery be the motivation for the crime? It's a possibility. Let's just highlight that one for now. See. Oh. Find out where Sir Rodney was several days before the murder. All right. Let's find that out. What else we got in here? Inside the bazaar. Eh, I didn't think so. Eh, no. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, effective arrival. Okay. Wasn't anticipating that. He was saved by the rival Sir Rodney, but a high moral cost. I don't know. Or was saved by the rival Sir Rodney. He was thankful, possibly working together, and a chance to learn from him. Was he really interested? I'm gonna say he was really interested for now. What does it mean if I think he's humiliated? All right, we'll just go with it. I, I'm gonna hold on to interested for now. Let's see where that takes me. Stolen note. Yeah, I, I don't know. It didn't go with the strange wound.
Yeah, nothing goes with the champagne. All right. I don't have anything else here. Let's check our notebook. Oh, all the way over. Let's see, let's talk to I'm not sure that I can be helpful at them. All right, just talk to him. Do you have something else to ask me? All right, he doesn't have anything else. We don't have any choices, so we've done the uh Let's see what are our what are our op options on the map? Let's see what we got here. Research map. Oops. Uh, doesn't give us any place to go. It's new. Hand-drawn map found surrounding belonging it points to location around Saint Oh Saint Alb Albans in the north of London. We found on a map. At Baker Street. Oh, I gotta go back to Baker Street just to look at the map. Why didn't they take the map with him? He thought it was gonna be useful. Alright, let's take a look at this map. Alright, well, the map, there it is. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Alright. Uh, oh, there we go. It moves like that. Oh, wait, the river's over. Where's the river at? There we go. There's water. Found water. Can I rotate this map? Okay. Can't rotate the map. There's more water. There we go. Watson, pack your bag. We are visiting a location in St. Albans marked on Sir Rodney's map. All right, when we get back, we're going to go to St. Albany. So you all have a good one. Stay safe. Be good out there. Don't get the corona. Wash your hands. You know, all the things they're telling you to do. Have a good one. Later.